Hey comic book fans, welcome to the Comic Fix, your one-stop shop for every single thing DC Comics to create our own to a little bit Marvel. My name is David and welcome to the Fix. Right now in this video, I am going to be doing my pick of the week. And also talk about some stuff about the comics that I read this week, to what I'm doing in my life, to anything that I really want to think about or talk about. So let's get into, I'm going to show you all the comics I did, and I did a review for every single one. So if you want more in-depth into what these books are and what the reviews are, just go a couple videos below on uh, my page, and you'll find a review for those, or a video review for those issues. So I reviewed Earth 2, Swamp Thing, Animal Man, Green Lantern, World's Finest, Dial H, Stormwatch, ugh, God, it's just bad, Green Arrow, just as bad, Phantom Stranger, it's okay, Batwing, pretty good origin, but if you've been reading the series for a long time, or for the past 12 issues, you're not going to... You don't need to read this issue. Hawkeye. Woo, what a good story. Action Comics. Really good. And finally, Detective Comics. So the ones that were in the running for the pick of the week that I thought was, you know, Action Comics, but it doesn't get it this week. Swamp Thing. The... The last couple books I showed are the books I think everyone should go and pick up. Animal Man and Dial H. But the pick of the week is none other than Hawkeye. Matt Fraction and AJ Hollinsworth. Dang, they're an awesome, awesome team. I mean, just seeing their artwork and their writing and their storytelling come together in a natural and just beautiful and artistic way is something that you really don't see in comics except for every so often like every single couple years a new series will come out and you'll just be like wow these guys are taking their time they got a, they got a, a style all of their own and that's what you get in this book it feels unlike any other superhero books from Marvel to DC anything out there this book is unique it's something that everyone should read. And the great another great thing about this series is that when you're reading it, they're individual issues. The Matt Fraction is writing them for single issues. So you get a full story, a beginning and an end in this in every single issue. So if you haven't read one and two and your comic book is still sold out because everybody's buying it. And you see issue number three out there next month, and you're like, huh, oh man, I miss issue one and two, but just know they're individual stories, full stories, and just one issue. Good stuff. It just, you just see from the cover alone, it has a style all of its own. Beautiful stuff. So above everything else that I've read this whole entire week. And it was definitely, I think, a better issue than issue number one. I just like the story a lot better, or a lot more, and the way that the artwork is done, especially when you see Hawkeye, he's going to go do, like, just some archery, and you see the girl talking to him, and as he's pulling it back, you see her, like, bunch of um, pictures of her, and her doing every single vowel, vowel of what she's saying, and as he's concentrating on the shot, really well done. Just beautiful work from beginning to end. So, that's my pick of the week. I had a big old stack this week. And this month was the start of the Zero Issues. So I'm gonna talk about the Zero Issues as a whole, what I think about them just with this month. There was a lot, a lot, a lot of misses, I thought. I could feel that the writers didn't, that they were forced to tell these stories and that they didn't really have a story to tell. 
But then there were some of them that actually had a story to tell. Like Animal Man. Jeff Lemire. Or Lemire. Sorry. He just put a cool little twist on it. You were just like, wow, that was so cool. And then you could see that Scott Snyder was... You know, you could definitely tell that Scott Snyder and Jeff Lemire are in hoots on what their stories are going to be. Because there was a lot of themes in Swamp Thing that was just like an animal man. And some plot points. Which was really cool. I love to see the two... The, the totems of the red and the totems of the green talking about each other and getting their different perspectives. Especially with the green being so weak and them being so afraid of what's going to happen. And to see the red who they just had their champion killed. And what the red usually do, does is that they had their champion be born as a champion and be raised up in that type of um, environment. But with uh, Buddy Baker... They had to put out this whole entire rouse because they knew that he was going to have, give, um, you know, the seed to the next champion of the red. So they needed some substitute teacher. So they put on this big old rouse with the spaceship so Buddy Baker can actually accept what's going on. Which was really cool to think about. And also, Dial H. It just... Blew my mind by how much better the writer, China Miaville, has become. And because when he first started writing the series, you could definitely tell that English was not his primary language. But in this issue, there was no problem with reading it. You didn't have to go and read back a couple of sentences or whatnot just to get what he was saying. It was just a really good issue and made you ask made you think of stuff that you should have been thinking all along. So really cool stuff. But then there was some stuff like Green Arrow. Oh god. Green Arrow. They show Oliver Queen as a young Oliver and as a bastard. A guy you do not like. And throughout the issue, he stays that bastard. He doesn't you know, you don't see him go over to the other side and be redeemed. The redemption side of that issue was just two panels of him on the island. That's it. Just a terrible issue. It didn't make you want to go and say, Man, I'm a new reader. I can't wait to see the Arrow TV show. So I'm going to go and read Green Arrow just to get caught up. God, you're going to hate this character. It's just doing so much bad. I think that they need to wipe out the editorial staff, the writers, the artists, and start fresh. Or maybe just get rid of the series altogether. And then in a couple months, when the third wave comes in, have Green Arrow come in in a different way. Maybe put, I don't know, this new Green uh, Lantern and Green Arrow series. <laughs> just putting ideas out there. But... It was just really bad. And then Stormwatch was equally just blah. I mean, I just... It's all you want to think about. It was just so bad. So there was a lot of mixed baggage in the zero issues. But with those guys that actually did their job and had a story to tell, kudos to you guys. You guys took a situation that was just thrown at you and had some really good stuff for it. Unlike most of them. Most of them. DC forced them to do the zero issues. They came out with garbage or just half-assed stuff. Because you definitely see that the artists in there, they didn't have no direction sometimes. The art was a little bit off. The writing was a little bit off. You definitely tell that the writer didn't have a story to tell. And he was a little confused about what's going on. So was, the artist was confused also. There were just miscommunications, I believe, in this whole zero month. And maybe, just maybe, this may be a little hiccup for Marvel as a whole, or DC as a whole, because they had some really cool stuff. They had the little tease of all the annuals, especially with Green Lantern, and then they had the big old um, tease of Rot World, which was like, I was so excited to see Rot World, but then I got told, I had to wait two months to get the next issue. <sighs> so, that's it for what I'm really thinking. I'm Excited to see um, what Scott Snyder has in store for in the Batman Zero issue. 
Um, that's about it. Um, I'm definitely going to be picking up all the rest of the Zero Issues this month. The only one I didn't pick up, I think, was G.I. Combat. I just have no interest whatsoever in that series. So, I'm going to end it at that. The pick of the month, or pick of the week, was Hawkeye issue number two. And the second time in the month that Hawkeye's been pick of the week. So, my name's David. This is the Comic Fix. If you're a new viewer, like, subscribe up top. To you old viewers, like on bottom. My name's David. And I hope you guys enjoyed the fix.